All right, with another shed, and this is our John Deere Gator. This is, uh, I can't remember the M on this thing, but it's a 625 and a 620i. John Deere Gator, this thing is used almost daily for something, it's really handy. Um, we had to, we hit this thing, used to have the glass on it, but we took the glass off because the glass got cracked, and we have a new one ordered. We gotta take this and get it put in. John, uh, this is a, uh, this here is our case plan for me seen this before this is a this is a 2019 so it's brand new this past year it's only got one season on it it's only, it's only it's only got one season on it and then that's this thing's pretty nice i like this planet a lot uh <clears throat> we, gotta, we gotta get this hooked up soon and get it uh, in the shop and uh Make sure things gonna be working all right. I expect it to me. The ship me too much going on. on the ship me too much due to it. might be a little bit. I'm not sure really. But um, I case did that. I got to come out and do some warranty work on this planter. I know that for a fact. You got to come do some warranty work on this planter. Um, put an update kit on it. So it's got to be. The case will be doing that. Uh, so yeah. You might, might make some videos of that. Uh, this is on international. Uh, Polestar uh, truck. This is a really nice truck. This here's that truck here, 2011 or 12, something like that. Um, I really like this truck. This thing's really nice. Uh, it's got it's got this 2000. This is a 2016 Jet trailer, 30 uh, 36 foot, just like the other trailer in there. Um, this truck's awesome. I, I love this truck. This truck is. I mean, everybody's fast to drive this truck. It's really super, it's extremely nice. And I, this is a nice truck we got on the farm. We haven't had this truck, but it's probably. We got the truck back in the summer. After wheat harvest, after the other truck, the engine blew up in the other truck. Well, not the, the transmission blew up in the other truck, which is still sitting out there. Uh, this is a water truck trailer. This is a water trailer. This is, this is a 4,000 gallon tank. And uh, <clears throat> I want to get another 4,000 gallon tank and set on that end and have 8,000 gallons and it, what this is too heavy on this end too much weight on this end so if you took another tank and put it on that end it would balance out the trailer this thing is stuck so easy but if you balance out the weight on that end down there it would uh it would uh be more even if you, you put chemicals in the middle here which is what these four those uh we built this trailer a few years ago but that that's right there you put on, that ledge right there you put it on there when you can take it off and on put your load of chemicals which you want to off right now and then you got your uh, we got places that right there you got places like that right there tied down your chemicals on your, your jugs on and then we got a toolbox we keep a toolbox in here with all your uh with all your uh gloves and measuring cups and all that but of course we don't have any chemicals on this thing now this winter this thing won't be used until probably uh well, we might put some. We, this thing probably probably won't be used till till uh, about that time. We won't, we probably won't put any fertilizer in this because we got another trailer for fertilizer, but we have in the past. But yeah, we bought this trailer in an auction and then put the full. We bought this trailer in an auction and built the and then built the uh, and then plumbed it all up ourselves and everything. And we need to put another tank on there. That was a plan in the future. We just haven't done it yet. Um, over there, and then in this shed over here, we got this, this, that draper head. That's not, that draper's been traded. Um, you don't be saying that anymore. That actually, uh, he may be coming to get that Monday or Tuesday. He's coming to get that trailer header. So he won't be here anymore. Um, but we, we trade that, but that is a 35 foot McDonald FD 75, but that's not, a, like I said, you won't be saying that anymore. Um, in here is uh this is our grain back this is this is our grain back and all the can this is our grain back and all the attachments you got for it and then you got this uh uh i'm not at least i can't remember the brand that uh, uh i'm not i'm not sure the brand of this i can't remember oh that's it right there um this thing don't use it a whole lot, but you gotta use, you gotta have one handy. We actually, we actually, this is actually, uh, we actually share this with the neighbor, um, and uh, we shared this, and uh, we use it one time this year to clean out a split bin with, and that's the only time we've ever we we the only time we've used it this year, and 
It hadn't been used until then. It hadn't been used until four or five years. So it don't get a whole lot of use, but when you need one, it's sure the heck handy to have. And then this is a 16. This is a 16 foot trailer. Uh, this is a 16 foot trailer that oh, don't use a whole lot, but it's handy, like I said, it's handy to have. Like the grain bag's handy to have when you use it. And then this is a Ford 5000 tractor, 19 and. Uh, it's by 19, I think it's like a 1970 model, I think. Um, this, this, this tractor is brought brand new on the farm. And, uh, it's never, and it's brought brand new on the farm, brand new. And, uh, <clears throat> we, we, we tie a four dealer here in town. Now the four dealer is a, and now the four dealer is a case dealer. But anyway, uh, so we bought this, we bought the tractor new and, uh, and new. And, well, my the granddad bought the tractor new. And uh, <clears throat> so he did. We, he restored this tractor, and it's uh, he restored this tractor. It's a good tractor. Got a load on it. We don't use it a whole lot, but uh, we we basically never use this tractor. But we do use this. We do we do use it a little bit. But it's kind of more of a sentimental thing in the past, and it's something that we wanted to do. So we restored it. We we restored it, and uh, so anyway, I just kind of cool. So you know, it'll be here for years to come, hopefully. And so, and in fact, this thing sounds awesome and smokes really bad. I know it's not going to start because I don't have any ether with me. I will start this tractor. And I'll start the tractor, but I know it's not going to start because it's 24 degrees, so I know it's not going to start. Um, these are the hoses for the uh, conveyor. These are the hoses for the grain back. That there's a rolling mower. It's uh, <clears throat> 15 foot rolling mower. We saw rolling mower. Um. And this, this, this ain't a whole lot in the shed. Just, I mean, there's not, there's not a whole lot in the shed. Um, but yeah, uh, <sighs> but yeah. Oh, oh, spooked a rabbit. Um, over there is our John Deere disc. That's a, a 25 foot John Deere 630 disc, I believe. Uh, we haven't used that thing and. I don't know a long time. We haven't used that thing in a few in a couple of years. It needs a lot of work done to it. It uh, <clears throat> it needs it needs a lot it needs a lot of work done to it. It uh, um, we 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 use the vertical tillage tool instead. And the only thing we we haven't used it just in a couple of years, but it needs it needs it really needs new blades on it. it got it need, it got a all it got a couple bearings down in it. It needs uh. It got a tire. It got a tire. Oh, that tire right there's missing. Uh, the wheel bed, the band uh, went out of it and fell off. And they's using it, and we we sold our cumbler because we never used our cumbler because the cumbler is a pain in the wheel to use. And since we, since we got the vertical tiller tool, we traded our cumbler in on a planter, so we don't use that anymore. Um, until so the disc, the only thing the disc is really handy for. We don't use the disc. The only thing it's handy for is uh, break. We got some ten year ground. We got to break up this year of like small patch uh for a landlord and we gotta break that up and that'll probably be this disc will be handy for that and then we'll, we'll just get a couple times with that and then run the vertical tiller tool over it and it'll be good um some attachment this is that's a loader for the john deere tractor that's in here it's in here right now but that's for a 6430 john deere tractor walk like um that's a combine been trading in uh they gotta come pick that up too. And then this is a truck. This, this, is, an this is an international truck. That uh, in the end, the transmission is blown up in. This is 19 and I want to say it's an 87. I believe it's an 87. And uh, we got a plan that's gonna rebuild the transmission for us. But no, not rebuild. You can't rebuild the transmission. It's junk. They're gonna. There's nothing, there's nothing left in the transmission. They're gonna put a leaf rubber transmission in this truck, and uh, they're gonna do that for us. And we got it. We got to got a halt to him. Fuel Thunder Creek fuel trailer. That's the other. That's another semi. We got. That's another one of our semis hooked up to our low boy. Uh, and hooked up 
to a lot of women and dogs and try to work with dogs and track up on here, so I can't say them. But, uh, this is a lot boy. I think this is a, I think this is a 40 ton. I think this is a 40 ton low boy. I can't be too certain, but I'm fairly certain it's a 40 ton low boy. And that's, and that's, and that's the 2002 fight line. It's like the one in there is. We brought them at the same time, same place. The only difference is one's tan and one's white. That's only, that's the only difference in them. So that's pretty much the equipment true um, right here in this place. Around, around here, we got some more stuff. I got a couple more things I need to show, I can show y'all. Um, and I, when, I get, when I get to the shed, I'll show them, show them when I get to the shed. And show them to y'all, show them to y'all. And uh, so this, this is like a three-part video. So yeah, talk to y'all later.